Hey everyone, welcome back. It is 30 June 2022 and we are in a sea of red. Cryptos, uh, cryptos are down. Bitcoin is the digital gold, the real estate, digital real estate king. So I only look at, I only look at Bitcoin because wherever Bitcoin goes, all other coins follow, including the little child uh, Ethereum, which is an altcoin. Everything other than Bitcoin is an altcoin. Uh, again, Ethereum was forked from Ethereum Classic. Anyway, I just want to clear that up so people know what the definition of an altcoin is. So we are down. And looking at the patterns from 2013 and all that stuff, I don't know, it just seems to be repetitive. We've seen this before. After a 75% correction on crypto, you get a little dead cat bounce. Uh, Bitcoin went back up to 21, 22 for a week or so, a couple days in there last week. Now it's back down. And you see this throughout the patterns of Bitcoin at different levels, like, you know, lower, uh, higher lows, higher highs, that type of thing. And uh, I don't know if it's built into the algorithm and then the guys who did this, whoever created this Bitcoin algorithm, put that in there. So if smart people are paying attention, they'll recognize the pattern and uh, start accumulating. I don't know. I'm just saying it's something for me to look into. Uh, yeah, I'm not a trader. Anything I trade, whenever I buy it, it immediately drops 40%. So do not take advice from any idiot on YouTube because uh, all most of these other financial YouTube traders or even equity stock traders, it could go up. It could go down. It could go sideways. It could go backwards. It's like, shut up. Stop it. And if you, it's funny if you watch these videos now because every uh, all these crypto traders and uh, type channels and that, uh, viewership is way down. People lose interest. They don't want to look at their portfolio. Everyone's everyone's bleeding. Uh, they're, you know, fear in the street. I don't really care. I've seen it before. I'm just holding because, you know, it's either going to go to zero and it was worth the risk or it may go, you know, higher highs. And that was like, yeah, thank God. Now in the future, I'm, I'm thinking I know now to take profits. Profits is not a bad thing. Uh, take out your original cost basis if you can and, and play with the house winnings. I don't know. Something like that. You got to taking profits now is probably something you put on top of your checklist if the, if it ever comes back. It may come back in a couple years. Like we saw 2017, it was a peak. 2018, 85% correction. Altcoins went almost, most of them got delisted off uh, exchanges and just went to nothing. It's crazy. Oh, and my advice now, guys, if you have crypto on any exchange, any uh, Coinbase, any BlockFi, Voyager, uh, if you have stuff in sales, you know, like lending platforms like sales, get it out. Get it into your wallet on your desktop or cold storage, your keys, your coins. You got to control that. Uh, you can get your stuff out there on exchange. Even Coinbase wallet, which I hate because uh, to move crap off, you need an ETH. All the stuff I have is ETH and it's like 50 bucks at the time and I need 30 bucks in ETH to move it. I said, I hate Ethereum. I hate Ethereum platform with those fees and I don't see it's going to be around. People aren't going to, normies are not going to come into this crypto world if it gets more adoption and go, oh my God, hey, I got a hundred bucks, but I got to pay 40 bucks to move it to my wallet. No, ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen, Johnny. Ain't going to happen. Yeah. Anyway, get them off exchanges. Get them off these things. If you don't have the keys, your coins can be frozen on these exchanges and you won't get your money out or they'll limit. Uh, like uh, Celsius did, they'll limit withdrawals or freeze withdrawals for for some time. And then that's scary because you may not get nothing back. It's not FDI and IC insurance. You know, it's, it's a gamble. So uh, just a warning, consider getting your stuff off exchanges. All right. Why are we here? All right, we looked at that. Ethereum profit, but let's just zip through this quick. Difficulty is uh, block time is up way up yet. And Ethereum profitability is down again. It's down to about 0.0137. It was at 0.0155 last night. It's tanking again. I thought the difficulty bomb was supposed to ease the block time, which is uh, 16.2 seconds, meaning you're getting under four blocks a minute. I mean, I'm... Yeah, a minute, and that's not really that great. So, oh well, what are you gonna do? So, okay, heat was one thing. So let's go to my subscription page. So I saw little Red Panda had a thing, that's cute. Uh, he had his little video out about heat. I said, I get it. That's one reason I took the rigs off. He's in a garage and garages are already hot and he's running all this equipment. And uh, yeah, it just heat builds up. That was one reason I said, I gotta turn the rigs off during the day. That's all fine. Second reason was profitability tanks. I don't mind mining the coin, but again, you're paying electricity. And at the point now, it's become ridiculous because 
you would think the factors were price of um, Ethereum is down, difficulty, and uh, block time are up. And then the heat, those would be the top two. No, what got me, which I didn't really think would be that big of an issue, but became the major deciding factor to shut it all down, was the power bill. Yeah, I don't know if other people around the country or in the U.S. are seeing this or across, across whatever, Canada and all that stuff. Um, with our power company, they sent out a note, you know, prices will go up. Ours went up 68%. So I was actually at, which I was surprised. I thought I was higher. I thought I was at 13 cents a kilowatt hour. I am at base 11 cents a kilowatt hour. And then they give me a little storm surcharge, which is 0.001350 cent. And then here's the Whopper. They have a power cost adjustment, which just kicked in for the month of June. Yeah, and that is a 68% increase on that uh, kilowatt hour. So I went from 11 cents up to roughly 18.5 cents. So they added on 0 0.074650 cents. So 18 cents, baby. Pretty much almost, like I said, 68% is a lot. And uh, so my bill doubled. I went, let's say, what am I at here? Why is it at 19? Oh, that's my last bill. So let's see, I got my dog ate half of this. Actually, dogs eat homework. This is proof right here. He ate my power bill, which I don't understand. All right, so normally my bill was, oh, is that what my usage is? 60, yeah, I use 6,707 kilowatt hours for the period ending June 17th. That was about 737 bucks. All right, not terrible what I expected. And, you know, add on the little uh, storm surcharge was only nine bucks. That's okay. And then they, oh, what is that gross receipt? Oh, there's a tax. Freaking they tax electrical, man. Holy crap. 30 bucks tax, right? Not terrible what I expected from mining. Now add in that power cost adjustment of 68%. And that's another 500, and, 500 bucks, 68 cents. Whopping power bill of 1,304 bucks on 1 1.4 giga hash. Uh, plus like 10, I don't know how many got, but I love roughly 10 CPU rigs as well. Uh, that, that was ridiculous. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's crazy. So my power kilowatt usage went when I started before mining, before mining, I was roughly burning. Let's see. Yeah. And last summer, last June, I was burning 2371 kilowatt hours. This time I'm burning 6707 one year later. So yeah, that that's the difference in in uh, mining. When I really got full bore mining, it started to inch up from twenty. It went twenty three hundred, twenty four, twenty six. Went down twenty four. Oh, actually dropped in November thirty three hundred. Uh, and then it round yeah around the new year it started to go back up. Yeah, power. Oh, well, why did it go back? That's oh, that is odd. It really jumped. Electric use kilowatt hour sixty three hundred. Six, that is, I got to check out that, why that jumped so much. That is interesting. I have to figure out why it jumped. Because you figure I was going full bore on the rigs in January, 118. Is it 40, 60, 78? And now, well, duh, I'm an idiot. All right, it's winter time. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I didn't need, uh, H, I don't need heaters down here. You don't need, you just open the windows. But uh, yeah, then summertime started to kick in. All right, AC kicked back in. That makes sense. All right, I don't recall that. So what is the reason for this power adjustment? Power cost adjustment increased. Natural gas costs are driving the cost of energy higher. Yeah, so it's all tied together. If, whether it's by design or plan from the government to uh, break people and uh, get them off gas or whatever, they're killing us. They're killing through inflation, higher gas prices on the cars and that. Uh, diesel prices, which is all trickling down to affect every industry, which is uh, the electric companies as well. I don't know if you're seeing this across the country. If you are, let me know. It'd be nice to know. People don't really talk about it. They talk about their power bill. But what to mind doesn't take into effect if you have a power cost adjustment. Look at your bill. You may want to turn those damn rigs off. Uh, it is quiet here. I almost want to play. Oh, let's listen, listen. What do you hear? I almost want to play. The sounds of silence. Uh, yeah, it is definitely quiet in here. It's comfortable. There's no heat. The room's cool. 
the fans are off, the PDUs are. I even pulled the cable, the 30 amp uh, 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 cable out of the wall just to make sure no residuals were running because those HP power supplies will still draw power. Whether they're the little off button is hit or not, you'll hear them like in little fan spinning and all that stuff. So any residual power will still add up. Uh, so I'm in my goal now is I'm not crypto mining. I'm kilowatt hour saving everything I see. That's like a pa like a passive slow draw. I'll unplug it. A computer I'm not using, a laptop, a stupid little nightlight, an outside light. I just turn it off because you know you got 55 watt outside lights. This is ridiculous. When I see a power cost adjustment, that's almost 70%, you know, of what my current bill is. It makes you want to just shut this stuff down. I don't know if this is going to go away, folks. I don't know if you're seeing this. You've got to be seeing this. If it's hitting uh, hitting my state, you got to be seeing it across the country. People probably aren't just looking at their power bill and go, whoa, why did my power bill double? So that's another reason, heat. So top of the list is power bill. That is, it's just ridiculous. I cannot keep paying this. And it, it, we saw it and went, we had sticker shock. And it's like, holy crap. Uh, yeah. And I don't sell my crypto to pay the bills and it's low now. So I'm kind of stuck holding the bag. So this is coming out of pocket and I'm not going to keep eating it. And uh, other YouTubers out there like uh, the Red Panda has a hot, hot garage. I don't know how these guys are flipping the coin, but he did turn that rig off. But uh, yeah, guys are building sheds and all this stuff. Wow. I mean, they're committed. So I'm trying to see if there's any other tubers putting anything out. Uh, no. Yeah, we got some law stuff. This guy's funny. Oh, that's all I wanted to talk about. The power bill went up. That was the that was it. Rigs are off. I don't know. I'm not going to sell them. It's just a pain in the butt to sell stuff because I always learn. I always jump out of stuff like a fad or a hobby. And then uh, like a year later, oh, I should have stayed in it because now it's super profitable. I just don't know at this point. I'm going to eat them. I'm just going to keep them and maybe just strip it down, put them in the boxes and hold on to them. I don't know. At this point, I don't see crypto coming back anytime soon, like within a year, like again, 2018. And I got this power belt. I don't see this power surcharge cost adjustment ever going away anytime soon either until we get a, uh, I don't know if we're ever going to get a uh, common sense administration in the uh, in the government again. This might be it. I don't know. It's just not looking good. Um, you know, they say we're in a we we may get in a recession, which is ridiculous. We are in a recession. It's just all the wordsmithing and word salad these fools talk about. Dude, I'm feeling it. You know, and I'm an engineer. I make good bucks, man. And I'm starting to feel it from gas prices. Filling up a little truck, a little car is over 100 bucks. It's ridiculous. Uh, now the food prices are going up. And now the electric, electricity bill. I don't know water is next, man. If you're on, like, public water system, boy, oh, boy. I miss being on a septic and well. I Man, that, I had solar septic and well. Again, that's my point. I should have kept that house. I'd be sitting good now. I'm always, like, an early adopter. And then I get out. I'm, I'm a fool sometimes. Yeah. Or kept that house and rented it. Real estate is king. Maybe real estate's where you get into. Sell your crypto stuff and go into real estate. I think that's what Red Panda said. He does. He has real estate. Uh, that's probably where the money's being made. That could become your income and uh, subsidize your, uh, your cost of living and all that. So something to look at. All right. That's all I'm babbling on. I just saw this bill and I just thought I'd, this is the reason why I'm out. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry. 1.4 giga hash is offline, boys. Go chew it up. But if you're getting these huge power bills, check your bill and uh, maybe reconsider. Yeah, it's bleak. Crypto winner, crypto bear market. All right, guys, go forth. I don't know what to do. Do what you got to do. Don't listen to me. I'm an idiot in a room, which is quiet now. <laughs> I, I'm getting my hearing back, so which is kind of a plus. And I'm not sitting next to all this electronic equipment. So that's probably another plus. My body's probably all radiated too. GPUs may be harmful to your health. Oh, boy. All right, guys, go forth. I'll try to keep putting some videos out. There's not much to talk about. Everyone else covers the same stuff. Uh, I was CPU mining. I want to get my payout because I'm halfway there, but it's just ridiculous. And I was going to solo mine um, Ethereum Classic, but geez, it's just not worth it. All right, take care. I will talk to you all later. Let me know what you think. It's it's not doom and gloom, but it's just real reality. The numbers are in, and you don't run a business like this where you're bleeding money, and especially when you got the overhead of this power. But it's ridiculous. All right, go for it, do great things. Uh, get outside, talk to your kids, go for a walk. Yeah. <laughs>